because all blessings come from God through men to men nothing comes directly comes from God if God says yes and a physical man says no that yes will remain in the realm of the spirit there is someone learning please look up I can tell you this my life today is a product of strategic relationships there are hard things that have become childishly easy because of the leverage of relationships the relationship with the Holy Spirit the relationship with strategic men please do not downplay the power of relationships look at me how many of you have strategic relationships within the judiciary if you are in trouble today nobody loves you enough to help you you will suffer both satan and men will walk in partnership and rubbish your life because you have not seen the value many of you have fought and insulted politicians you have insulted everyone the day you now need help and you need the gates to be open for you there are times that you can be joseph but you will still be in prison it will take the king to send for you to come out of your dungeon hallelujah when you see businessmen and politicians I'm, I'm not marketing any of them but i'm just teaching you wisdom you've heard me say it when a businessman will leave america and come to nigeria to celebrate the birthday of a two-year-old billionaire son is the baby his mate can the baby talk to him what do you think he's doing to fly a private jet hundreds of thousands of dollars to come and greet a baby is more than a baby and then he comes with his own children he comes with his own children he says this one is called john whether this one wants to play with him or not he will force that relationship to happen because he knows believers let's learn let's learn let's learn please sit down the bible says which man intending to wage war against a city will first count whether he has what it takes to fight and if he discovers he does not have the next thing is the way of negotiation and relationship for peace to reign there are people today they do not have money but they can cough out billions out of relationships and it will answer in the multitude of men is a king's honor not just the multitude of things to the degree to which you can call on the help of men and they can respond to you with unbending loyalty that is the degree to which you are great value men and value relationships inheritance number three relationships and connections relationships and connections someone once asked me a question one day i told you he said how come you are close to a lot of you seem to have a lot of generals and military people and paramilitary what is between you and military people i said god knows the kind of call upon my life that's why he brought those relationships if you touch me both god and men whether you go to the realm of the spirit or from the physical realm there is a system that's for sure while i'm praying my own oh, listen let me encourage you here please look up let me ask you a simple question i've asked you this but i will ask it again can you mention one person in your life right now who you can actually call and say i need help by 2 a.m and he will wake up and say i value you so much help is coming if you don't have such a person in your life believe me you are sitting on a time bomb there are men of god who love the lord sincerely but they lack strategic relationships i'm not talking of parasitic relationships that every time people see you they know that this taker has come there are people in this nation if their car gets burnt in the next one hour another car is coming even if it's for temporal use they will never be left in shame there are people today if their house gets burnt they will have a place to spend the night 
can i tell you this among the many things you invest in please invest in men this is the world of men place value on men i was very honored and even flattered when i came in i thought i did something wrong i saw you people shouting and clapping on one hand sincerely i'm a very conservative person i can be shy and except when i'm on stage of course once i'm not on stage when i'm on stage that anointing is on me so I, I don't really care but outside of that i can you know but when i saw you clapping on one hand i felt of course i didn't it wasn't necessary but on another hand i was praying i said lord may somebody learn it who loves you enough to be there for you don't budge into a future you did not invest in and expect a stake in it no who's who did you help to rise when someone was crying, were you there to wipe the tears? If you were not there when I was in the cave of Adulam, don't expect an invitation when I'm celebrating. Listen, one of the easiest ways to rise is to find something working and someone rising and be part of the history of growth. Hallelujah. By the privilege of God's grace, with the bit that I've been able to do for God in ministry and leadership. I've had the honor of seeing some of my dear people within the ministry and by extension spiritually. I've seen the mighty and the marvelous things that God continues to do with them in ministry, in leadership, in business. And when I sit with them and they share this with me, my heart is genuinely gladdened. Can I tell you, as tired as I am, there are people when they call, I will wake up. Don't ask me who. If you don't know, you are not it. <laughs> Can somebody see you as being valuable? A valuable contributor to their life. Many of you have knocked on doors and ended up in shame because you use your days of glory thinking about yourself alone and never consider that this is the, a world that, that is interdependent. Please change and teach your children there are children who are respectfully speaking lousy they don't respect anybody they just believe that things will work out they are not building their track record of relationship because they think they have money or they think they have some kind of thing they laugh at the houseboy laugh at the cleaner laugh at anybody and then the tables just turn sometimes overnight is god giving us wisdom Turn to your neighbor and say, I value you. Let me say it now. Hear me as I'm saying it. I value you. I value that relationship. Don't act tomorrow like you don't know me. Remember, koinonia. Look up, please. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, please look up. Look up. Do you know? Hear me. Do you know that relationships can create not only leverage, they can create exemptions? It is true. There are people today who have owned land they did not pay for, houses they did not pay for. Relationships paid for it. Who knows you and loves you by reason of your committal and genuine sincere connection? And contribution to their lives there are people everybody who is close to you you have hurt and wounded and caused pain life is watching you tonight is a night of repentance change because you are programming woes over your children whilst you are seated there in one minute please lay your hands on your head and say Lord grant me the wisdom the wisdom to maintain strategic relationships and then the wisdom to start connecting my children and my children's children to the strategic relationships that have worked for me please pray you are a young man here pray for the grace to build strategic relationships you are an elderly person pray father the grace to maintain the relationships that have helped my success and that my children will have the discipline and the humility to value relationships.
your connections your relationships hallelujah praise the name of the lord the true story one of these times i can't remember which which of the years now i was trying to process a visa for one of the nations and then when i was doing my biometrics and i just sat in front and a gentleman saw me and was happy he was rejoicing and he said apostle i can't believe it i said what can't you believe i came to get a visa what kind of embarrassment is this do the needful and let me leave this place and he said no let me tell you a story you had come to preach on our campus so 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 years ago and this and that and that and i'm walking in this place right now and he was laughing he got up and went and spoke something to a woman i don't know what they discussed but he returned back and i laughed i said lord you see how easy some things can be i've shared with you an old story here when we we're in zaria we we're told that story that some people were a gentleman was going to nda and then because of the height requirement he didn't match the height requirement so they disqualified him and being saddened he went and because his father knew the then late emir he went to him and said sir they disqualified my son and then he did not even write the then emir we were told said he should go back and tell the commandant that the emir has added his height that's right who can add your height in this wicked world that we live in please i hope as you are laughing you are taking seriously what i'm saying yes some of you as soon as you finish service even if someone is stretching his hands you can look at him from head to toe no you are not my class be careful be careful don't forget that as tattered as they are looking something came on them in that service treat people with honor treat people with dignity don't treat only wealthy and blessed people with dignity you are a hypocrite treat everybody with honor and dignity the apostle he cannot speak english no problem still treats them with honor relationships relationships number four inheritance number four that a good man leaves for his children's children are you ready physical assets now that's what most people call inheritance physical assets your cash your properties your businesses your estates your cash properties businesses estates in as much as i challenged it as being the ultimate thing you give it is also worthy of transference you can transfer physical things Proverbs 19 4 let's walk quickly media Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 4 he said did I get that right 19 4 oh dear wealth make many friends that's not what I'm looking for please help me my apologies numbers 27 let's look at 6 to 11 I must have missed a number or so numbers 27 let's start from verse 6 to 11 all right and the lord spake unto moses saying we're reading to 11 this and that all of these people thou shalt surely give them a possession of an inheritance among their father's brethren pay attention and thou shalt cause the inheritance of their father to pass unto them reading to 11 and thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel saying if a man die and have no son then ye shall cause his inheritance to pass to his daughter this is the law of inheritance verse 9 and if he have no daughter then shall ye shall give his inheritance to his brethren verse 10 and if he have no brethren then ye shall give his inheritance unto his father's brethren last verse and if his father have no brethren then he shall give his inheritance unto his kinsmen that is next to him of his family and he shall possess it and it shall be unto the children of israel a statute of judgment 
as the Lord has commanded. So there is a place for transferring physical estate and resources. Hallelujah. I can tell you there are people whose lives have been accelerated because they had the privilege of receiving an inheritance. It is not until an individual dies you can provide leverage of resources. For instance, I know people who haven't trained their children, haven't helped them. They gave these children the gift and the blessing of a house and say a car. Discipline them and gave them. Do you know that if you give your child a house and a car, under, um, for as long as you discipline that child and help the child to understand, you have given that child a big leverage. For an average person, do you know, for an average young man, you know how many years it would take to build a house and to buy a car? So when you give people physical things, it is also a blessing to them. Joshua chapter 11. Let's read from verse 15. If God is helping you, shout amen. amen. Joshua 11 and verse 15. Please pay attention as I read. As the Lord commanded Moses his servant, so did Moses command Joshua. And so did Joshua. He left nothing undone that the Lord commanded Moses. So what did he do? 16. Joshua took all that land the hills and all the south country and all the land of Goshen and the valley and the plain the mountain of Israel and the valley of the same we're reading to 23 even from the Mount Halak that goes on to Seir even to all of those mountains to Lebanon Hamon and all their kings he took and smote them and slew them 18 Joshua made war a long time with those kings there was not a city that made peace with the children of Israel, save the Hivites, the inhabitants of Gibeon, all order they took in battle. 20. For it was of the Lord to harden their hearts that they should come against Israel in battle, that he might destroy them utterly and that they might have no favor, but that it might destroy them as the Lord commanded Moses. Next verse. Watch this now. And at the time came Joshua and cut off the Anakims from the mountains, from Hebron, Debi, Anab, and all the mountains of Judah. And from all the mountains of Israel, it says Joshua destroyed them utterly with their cities. Next verse. There was none of the Anakims left in the land of the children of Israel, only in Gaza and in Gath and in Ashdod. There remain. Next verse, please. It says, so Joshua took the whole land according to all that the Lord said to Moses. Hear this. Joshua gave it for an inheritance unto Israel according to their divisions by their tribes. And the land rested from war. Please look at me. Let me challenge especially every man here. As much as God grants you grace, let me not put you under pressure, but please make sure that when God gives you the gift of time, be able to justify it by using the favor of God, your value, your relationships in putting something physical together that can provide a leverage to a responsible child. Hallelujah. There are many young people in, let me tell you why prosperity is not perpetuated, especially in Africa. Because when the, an average young man starts in life, he does not start from zero. He starts from minus. Minus means he will pay the price of the parents' carelessness. Then when he's 40 or 50, that's when he arrives at zero. And then by the end of his life, he now makes the same mistake demons and spirits will come and add to bring it to minus again then he will add he will give his child there are regions in this nation that have a leverage of perpetuating wealth or have a track record because they continue to build one upon another when you go to israel you go to europe you go to america you will find out that some of these people they have businesses and estates that are 200 years old 
300 years old, 150 years old. The founders are long gone, but they give the estate. Don't think about yourself alone. A good man, so says scripture, leaves an inheritance to his children's children. If you can't give them a house, give them land. If you can't give them land, at least let there be some money. I submit to you that establishing yourself as a young man in our world today with the dignity of kingdom integrity will require the grace of God. Go and ask builders how much is one block? How much is one bag of cement? How much is a plot of land in a city like Abuja here? And in many cosmopolitan cities an average young man respectfully speaking who is receiving say a hundred thousand a hundred and fifty with the dignity of kingdom integrity without corruption without anything and minus any other leverage it would take God for that gentleman to be established do you agree with me by the time he's been established his children are already teenagers and that suffering will cut them short they may not be able to go to school at a good pace this is how people continue to lag again and again but in the name of jesus after this discussion may that grace that grace that will add favor to everything you are doing to accelerate your establishment may that grace rest upon you hear me you see the reason why when i'm praying for favor you should receive because by the natural course of things as far as our world today has presented itself you must play games and cut corners to be able to be established early physical assets it is not unscriptural even if it will require a parent denying themselves certain levels of comfort to provide that leverage may god bless i know that it is men's men's today is um, father's day and bless the men but may god bless both men and women who have paid the price to at least give their children something there are people who never had the privilege of going to school but mama will say i even if it means me frying something by the roadside to give my children that leverage may god bless you for that sacrifice there are elderly people, respectfully speaking, who are selfish. They would rather the generations ahead of them perish, provided they will have momentary comfort. No. Physical things can be a blessing. If God can help you and you can give your child a car or give your child a house or give your child some kind of physical assets, to help and provide a leverage provided the first things are done convictions and the rest that now becomes a blessing if the prodigal son was wise enough to collect other things alongside the physical blessings he would not have had to return back in shame but he collected physical things alone hallelujah let me encourage you here if there is any parent father or mother in your life whether spiritually physically or by adoption who has